for chloromodafinil. It's dynamite, it's crazy, but be careful. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this 4-chloromodafinil, and I guess you could get it from alconchem.com. I actually found this on eBay. I did a video on 4-fluoromodafinil where I went into a lot of depth with it, but at least on eBay, this guy has several, several forms of modafinil. He even has um, something called CE123, which is like a modafinil analog, and an analog means it's just chemically similar to modafinil. If you look at it, it looks pretty interesting. So that's something maybe I would try at some point in the future. But what's interesting about it is they have modafinil with two fluoros and two chloros. As far as four chloromodafinil, there's very, very few, if any, kind of like research on it. I mean, you might find like some chemical website mentioning it at one point, but it was never really like studied or close to being used as like a prescription. But if you look at um, the modafinil with two fluoros, at one point that was like patented. I think it's like CE 940 or something. So they have um, patented the double fluoro modafinil. I personally took the single one because I'm trying to get as close to the actual modafinil as possible. So I just wanted one on there. This is kind of the same thing too. I ordered this at the same time that I ordered the four fluoro. Now, as far as price wise, this one is actually a little bit cheaper. I think this was about $32 for 2.5 grams and I think the four fluoro is $38. So this saves you about five, six dollars for the same amount of powder. And I, to be honest, I feel like they're very, very similar. There is um, somebody mentioning on the modafinil subreddit about, you know, somebody did compare four chloro to four fluoro at one point. There's one person on Reddit, I'm not sure if I can find it. He noticed that the fluoro version kicks in way faster than the chloro version. I would never really take modafinil more than two or three times a week. I definitely wouldn't take it every day personally. I did not take these back to back. And again, when I did do this, this was kind of like, I was sampling what a low dose of modafinil felt like. I actually found on the modafinil subreddit that if you take it every day and it stops working, it's because you're taking way too much and your body's kind of getting zapped. And he said, um, somebody on there recommended starting off with only 25 milligrams, which is crazy because very few people say that, but it makes so much sense that you want to use the lowest dose that's effective, but then also minimize the side effects by having a low dose. Absolutely brilliant. As far as the chloro version, I would venture to say it's a little bit stronger than modafinil just because it has the extra chloro on it. And basically, in your body, it takes longer to break down the chloro, so it'll basically last in your body a little bit longer. I said this on my fluoro version of modafinil video. There is several, several, I mean, it's ridiculous the amount of substances that have a chloro or a fluoro built into the compound. Like if you Google the top 20 antidepressants in the US, I think 19 out of the 20 of them had like a fluoro or a chloro. I mean, something like Xanax has a chloro attached to it. It's just used quite a bit. They actually put a chloro onto phenibit and it's called like Bactylophen or something. It's actually like a prescription. So it's just like, to be honest, I don't think it's that, like, I'm just kind of saying that to tell you that it's probably not gonna be that bad for you because, you know, I, I have no way of proving that, but just because it's used so commonly, it's a very common thing. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. So as far as the effects that I got, this stuff absolutely kicked at 30 milligrams. I probably wouldn't take more than that because I did have uh, way too much energy when I took the 100 milligrams of the four fluoro. So it's nice to know that only 30 milligrams really really, really gives you a kick in the ass. Like, I mean, I was just laser focused, crazy, completely the all, all day. It almost went away near the end of the day, but I was still kind of feeling it a little bit. But yeah, this stuff absolutely kicks at 30 milligrams. For me, somebody who, I have experience with stimulants, but I try to really, really not use them very much. So I could use just a tiny dose and it's super effective. So um, yeah, I would definitely go with the 30 milligrams. So the effects it gives you, super energy, super focus, like I almost feel like emotionless in a good way. Like if you were to ever like, I don't know, get nervous or get scared to say something, that shit's just gone. You just fucking say it, you know what I mean? And it's, it's crazy. But then the last little thing I gotta say about this stuff is, for me, it's not really good if I have to deal with like a lot of complex like family type issues. You know, if I were to be talking to my friends, if I were to be working all day and be productive, this is just great. But if I had to be really, really close to somebody and you know share some like really close thoughts, I definitely would not want to be around somebody that I care about on this stuff because I just feel so unlike myself. I feel like I just really like legitimately don't care about anybody 
but it's only when I take the modafinil, you know what I mean? So it almost seems like a good thing, but then like once it actually happens to you and you feel like, wow, like all the people I care about, like I don't give a shit about any of them, like, oh my God, are you gonna have some fucking problems? So this stuff, maybe it's gonna be wrecking relationships, maybe it's gonna be ended marriages. So be very fucking careful with that shit. But that's probably the main reason why I'm not gonna be taking this very much, just because I never really know at this point in my life when I'm gonna have like a full day or two without being able to talk to somebody that I actually care about. So just in case I have to, I'm probably gonna like not really do the modafinil for a while. So anyways guys, that's been my review of 4-chloromodafinil. Again, I only took it one time at 30 milligrams, but man, did it kick all day and I did I really feel it all day. So anyways guys, I should probably link down below the 4-fluoro, the 4-chloro, and then the double chloro and the double fluoro as well. You know, it's funny, is I listed my four fluoro modafinil, like the guy got it on eBay and people bought so much of his stuff. I'm like, this guy should freaking hook me up. Like I literally got him like probably 10 sales of the four fluoro modafinil at 38 bucks. You know what I mean? And I could have listed four chloro modafinil. It's dynamite. It's crazy, but be careful. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of modafinil. Let me know what your favorite modafinil analog is. I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.